Congress has authorized billions to develop carbon removal plants right here in the United States. And one of the companies involved just opened a brand new one in Iceland. That's where we find our Diana Olick this morning with an exclusive look. Hi, Diana. Hey, Becky. Yeah, this direct air capture plant is sucking carbon out of the atmosphere at a record pace. So-called Mammoth is the newest and largest DAC plant in the world from Zurich-based Climeworks. It's about 10 times the size of its previous model. The first section is now operational, and it'll totally be complete by the end of this year, it eventually removing roughly 30,000 tons of carbon per year, or that's the annual emissions of about 7,000 gasoline-powered cars. So huge fans pull air into containers where steam is used to separate out the carbon dioxide. That CO2 is then pumped into water like a, a giant soda stream and piped into the ground where it eventually becomes rock. And this is just the beginning. This will be a trillion dollar industry if we are serious about it. Just do, do the math. If we want to capture billions of tons of CO2 from the atmosphere, uh, then we'll, we'll end up in the end with, with trillions, uh, of, tr trillions of dollars of market volume. Climeworks just entered the U.S. market thanks to a half a billion dollars from the Department of Energy. It is one of 78 companies in the U.S. direct air capture space, and that's from small startups to big names like ExxonMobil. And Climeworks' client roster is very wide. These companies are purchasing carbon removal at about $1,000 per ton. The expectation is that'll drop to about $300 per ton eventually. Now, Mammoth has already sold one-third of its capacity before it's even fully finished. What we do is raise capital for these companies so they can scale up, and when they scale up, they bring down the cost. That's what makes it affordable more broadly. Congress appropriated $3.5 billion for regional DAC hubs in the U.S. through the infrastructure law. Millions more are coming from funds like the X Prize, Bill Gates's Breakthrough Energy, Lower Carbon Capital, and the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. So, again, we're going to start to see this, guys, all across the U.S. So, Diana, the plant is removing carbon, but what's powering the plant? Well, actually, it's being powered by geothermal. If you can see that big puff of smoke over there, that's actually steam that's coming from a plant that the company is called On Power. All geothermal energy, it's being piped through these enormous pipes that come from all the way over there through and into the Climeworks plant, and that's how it powers itself. Wow. Okay. That is something. Diana, thank you.